Hi guys, it's Christian from Base Property Specialist here and I'm back with our three hot picks from Zoopla this week for uh, good investment properties for buy-to-let landlord investors in London. Um, so in our first category, up to 500,000, this two bed on with Fraser & Co uh, in Bromley by Bow caught my eye. It's just come to the market, 459, really good attractive price for a two bed, two bath. I'm not sure exactly what floor from the photos. It looks to be kind of probably fifth, sixth floor, maybe higher, <clears throat> but pretty standard new build apartment inside. Open plan kitchen lounge, all mod cons, nice big sliding doors leading to a private balcony, which you'll see in a sec. Modern bathroom, main bedrooms look very similar master with an ensuite shower nice decent size shower to walk into and there is the balcony off the living room so pretty spectacular views facing uh in towards the city um yeah two bed two bath uh, really good amenities tube station right next door saying to be local on the ground floor there's a massive tesco superstore across the road so in terms of what your tenants would need on their doorstep um they've got it in spades um there is no lease or service charge information on this listing unfortunately so you will need to verify that with fraser and co grand rent is 300 um but yeah you need to verify what the um service charges and lease length are this is a relatively new development so i'll be surprised if the lease is under 115 years but do double check it uh, and make sure you're comfortable with that but i would expect this property to rent for at least 22.50 a month in the current market and presented well um so that's a nice return on a purchase price of 459 and this is a huge area of redevelopment and regeneration going on at the moment so i would expect to see rents and capital values appreciate quite nicely um over the coming years uh hopping along to our next price bracket so 500 to 750k uh this property with this opening photo for obvious reasons caught my eye now this is a three bed three bath duplex apartment now three bathrooms is really important when you have a three bedroom property that you're going to rent out three bathrooms means that effectively each tenant can have their own bathroom and that will push a premium up on rent tenants love not having to share with their fellow housemates um again being a duplex so it's over two floors you've come in uh, and you've got the bedrooms downstairs and then upstairs you've got the living room kind of an upside down house setup but again, if you're going to be renting to sharers, there's no, it's nice to have that separation between sleeping and living space. And then with the living space, you've got these floor to ceiling windows, big private balcony, quite spectacular views towards Canary Wharf that you'll see in a minute. Um, nice kind of separation between living and eating dining space, big kitchen, lots of work surface area, lots of cupboards. Again, good ticks in the box um, for a sharer property. Um, they're all going to need somewhere to keep their own food and bits and pieces um, and there are the views towards sort of Stratford and <clears throat> Canary Wharf so all the bedrooms have big windows main bath there's the large private balcony great for the tenants because they can put their laundry out throughout the year it's protected mainly from the elements by the roof which just means none of that moisture is being created within the property which can then create condensation and mold issues it also means because it's part covered that the tenants can actually make use of this year round uh, if they want it to um so again it's just practicality uh, over everything else um but yeah it's chain free there's also an underground parking space there's also a concierge service in the building opposite um boring details 119 years left on the lease a so bags time left on the lease ground rent and service charge coming in at about three six a year not bad given the amenities in there um and really this is ticking everything that tenants could want individual bathrooms a concierge is a big tick because of food and amazon deliveries uh, and the such like uh, it's good that those things can happen and again if something breaks the fact that there's a concierge to let a contractor in if any repairs are needed you know these are the sort of thing tenants love and very important epc rating b so about as energy efficient as most properties are going to be in london um, it's very hard to get an a uh, so in terms of tenants being confident that their running costs at the moment with bills are going to be as low as possible um yeah sort of ticks that box now i would expect this to rent for 
uh, at least 32.50 a month, maybe a little bit more. Um, you should be able to rent the parking space uh, at a surcharge, whether that's to the tenant or another resident in the building. And again, I'd expect to see that 100, 150 a month easily. So you're looking at a rental income of around 3,400 a month, possibly nudging that up a little bit more. Um, a good return and a property that is really gonna pretty much let itself year in, year out. So if you like the look of that one, get onto John Payne in Greenwich West, get your viewing booked in, verify that lease and service charge information and get your offers in. And last but not least in the 750 to 1 million pound bracket. Now actually this property is on the market the same price as the property I've just seen. Uh, they're both sitting on the cusp. Um, now for this rather unassuming opening photo, you'll see why when I click to the next photo, why this property caught my eye. So this is a 1,245 square foot, two bed, two bath, sort of small house really. Uh, it's a converted building within the boundaries of a larger development, which was a Victorian hospital conversion with new build elements added to it. Um, but this property is kind of a mini development within a development. You've got this one and a half story building with its own gate, its pr own private courtyard garden gated within the development itself. Um, you've got these soaring vaulted ceilings with a skyline, uh, skylight roof running down the middle. Um, and this living space is over 550 square foot, just the living space, uh, which when you consider that would be a very decent one bedroom flat in its entirety would fit inside your living space alone gives you an idea about just quite how special the space is in here um, and like i said that will feel only bigger with the vaulted ceilings and when you're going for this top end part of the market you want properties that feel special that make people feel like they're living somewhere that is going to be hard to compete with i mean look at that shot there um and this is a little private courtyard garden that you've got there's gates uh, at the other end of the courtyard but big bedrooms modern bathrooms you've got these vaulted ceilings throughout so not only are the bedrooms big they'll feel bigger because of the ceiling space that's um, granted to them so these little gates here so this is your little private courtyard garden space here um, and it even says things like there could be the possibility to extend this property subject to planning permission. Um, I don't know whether you'd need to. Um, service charge and ground rent come in at about two, four a year. My only concern is that service charge feels a bit low. Um, so just be aware that those service charges might creep up over time. That does feel a slightly suppressed um, service charge amount. Um, given the amenities there but it's a multi-award winning development you're located on Bow Road uh, and the development stretches from Bow Road all the way down to Tower Hamlet Cemetery Park which is one of London's most beautiful parks don't be put off by the word cemetery uh, it's absolutely stunning there is an old cemetery section um, but it's a walled park um, which is absolutely beautiful you're also moments from mile end park you're sandwiched between mile end and bow road tube stations uh, on a popular bus route and you've got bow church dlr down the road as well so wherever you your residents um your guests need to go transport links are fantastic now you would need to check the head lease but i would say that a space like this lends itself towards um, photo shoot and filming opportunities because you do have this unique vaulted ceiling element to it um, so if the head lease permits that could be quite a good source of income um, and also if the head lease permits getting this on to sites like Airbnb and VRBO um, again it being something really quite special you should be able to achieve a premium on that so I would expect this property to rent somewhere in the region of three to three and a half thousand pounds a month long term and that is purely based on the fact that it is a truly unique and truly quite spectacular property um i can't really fault anything there um so there you have it those are our three picks for today we've had two properties at a very similar price um but very different offerings a three bed new build and a two bed kind of character period conversion um all very appealing for different reasons all with pretty strong yield so if you like what you've seen get in touch with the agent get viewing the properties, get your offers in and get some great tenants into your homes. We'll be back next week with some more properties for you guys to check out. Thanks.